in this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to remove Ubuntu and install Windows on your computer. Before you begin, you should backup all your important files from Ubuntu because we'll erase the drive during the Windows installation. We'll need to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 10 or 11 on it. Download the Windows 10 or 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. There are many applications you can use to create a Windows bootable USB on Ubuntu. In this guide, we are going to use Ventoy. Go to the official Ventoy website. Download the latest Ventoy release for Linux. Now, extract the downloaded Ventoy file. After that, plug in your USB drive. Then, navigate to the extracted Ventoy directory and run the Ventoy GUI. Select a USB drive from the drop-down. Click Install. Ventoy has been successfully installed on your USB drive. Now, you just need to copy the Windows ISO file to Ventoy USB. That's it. Your bootable Windows USB is now ready. Next, restart your PC and access your boot menu. Select a USB drive and hit enter. You'll see the Ventoy menu with the Windows ISO listed. Select the Windows ISO to start the installation. Once in the Windows setup, you will be asked where you want to install Windows. Here, you need to delete the existing Ubuntu partitions. After deleting them, an unallocated space has been created. Select the unallocated space and click Next to start the Windows installation process. Once the installation is complete, follow the on-screen instructions to set up your Windows account, region and other preferences. Congratulations, you have successfully replaced Ubuntu with Windows on your computer.